Hello my friends, here we are in Luminar Neo and today we are talking about color contrast. It's a tool that not many people I see using but it's so powerful and I think you should incorporate it into your editing flow. Let's see where do we find this color contrast. When you go into the tool tools, you go into professional and it's hidden under color harmony and color contrast is over here. Now it's important to understand how color contrast works. You choose an amount and then you choose the hue and whichever hue you choose, they would lighten that color and then the opposite color on the color wheel, it will get darkened and that's how it creates color contrast. Now let's see, I'll put the amount at 50% and let's see, I wanted to make those rocks really pop. So let's see about here. Now it's a little bit too much, turn it down. And this is the before and after, before and after. It almost makes the photo like 3D, before and after. Let's see how it works on a portrait. I have this portrait over here and it's beautiful colors, very kind of soft pastel -y portrait, but let's see what we can do with color harmony. When I increase the amount, it's already, the by default, it's set to orange, which is in the very left side of the hue slider. So when I increase the amount just a little bit, look at the skin tone. This is the before and after. It has, makes it glow, it's like radiance. Before and after. If it's too much, you can always take it down. I am just going a little bit too much so you can see it in the video. This is the before and after. It's really nice, really nice effect on skin tones. Let's see how we will do in an architecture building. We'll go to edits. We'll go back to our color harmony. And let's see, color contrast. I'm gonna put it, I usually put it about halfway to start with, and then I will tone it down after I uh, pick my hue. So we'll move the hue. You just wanna move slowly, slowly move the hue until you see the part of the image that you like what it does to it. So for this image, let's see, I will stop there. So this is the before and after, before and after. It really makes the building stand out and it makes the sky more blue and more contrasty. It gives it a little bit more drama. Now, I do not like what it does to these orange flowers and the greenery in the foreground, but that's why we have the eraser tool. Now I can take my eraser and just paint it on the foreground, make the brush a little bit smaller and remove the effect from the foreground. I painted a little bit too much on the building, so I'm gonna go back and paint it. This is just a quick job, but this is the before and after, before and after with just one slider. Let's take a different example. Let's see about this one. We'll go to edit, color harmony, and color contrast. And when I increase it, look at the fish. It brightens the oranges into the fish and it darkens the water before and after, before and after. It just makes it stand out. Let's see, maybe a different example. Let's see about this boat. We'll go back to color harmony and we'll increase the amount. And there you go, we can just make it stand out. Now that is too much, but this is our before and after, before and after. I'm gonna reset this and I'm gonna show you another way to create color contrast, which is my favorite way. And that is into the curve tool. I usually like to just make a very slight S curve on all the channel, luminance, red, green, and blue. And I'm just recreating this curve, this S curve, make sure my lines are aligning and every one of the channels. And then what you are left with is this contrast and color contrast. This is the before, this is the after, before and after. And of course, if it's too much, you can always take a nice big fluffy brush, strength of maybe 50% if you only wanted to apply 50%, and then you can paint over your image and only 50% of that effect will be applied. So let's see now, this is the before and after, before and after. 
Let's do one more example of using the curve tool. Um, I am going to use, let's do this one. We'll do it both ways. First, we'll go to color harmony and we'll increase it. And you see, it just makes the boats stand out now. This is the before and after, before and after. We'll reset it and now let's go to the curves and to the develop. And we'll do exactly what we did before. We'll do a very slight S-curve, all the channels. All right, and this is our before and after. Before and after. And like I said, if you think it's too much, Take a brush, uh, large size, just a strength of 50% and you can paint over the parts that you want to apply the effect at just 50%. And now this is the before and after, a lot more sudden. Sometimes, you know, editing uh, subtlety is the key to success on editing a good photo. I hope you learned something new today and I can't wait to see how you're going to utilize this uh, new techniques and the color contract slider. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyler Ewing and I will see you in my next video.